Hi, I'm Dominique. In our last video, we talked about how to use a gray card to expose your camera for log gamma recording, including the issues with different types of lenses. Now, if you haven't watched that video, we suggest you watch that before watching this one. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your light meter properly when working with log gamma recording. And some of the hardware we're working with includes a Sekonic light meter, an 18% R27 gray card, an Atomos Samurai Blade, only used as a waveform monitor, and a set of ZF Zeiss Primes. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is place the 18% gray card in our key light and make sure it's evenly illuminated. Notice how the waveform shows a perfectly uniform level. This tells us that the card is illuminated evenly from top to bottom and side to side. Then we'll take a light meter reading at the position of our gray card. This reads 8 and 9 tenths. So we'll set the lens aperture to that setting. Despite having a very good professional light meter, the waveform still shows we're underexposed since Sony recommends 18% gray to be at 41 IRE for S-Log3. This may be a culmination of the lens transmission, the camera sensitivity, or the light meter being a bit off from ideal. Next, we'll adjust the lens aperture such that the waveform shows the gray card chart exposed at 41 IRE, then record the difference in aperture. The lens aperture is at 8 and 3 tenths. This is a 0.6 stop difference from what the light meter is reading. The light meter we're using allows you to offset the exposure in 1 tenth stop increments to compensate for your camera and lenses. With this particular light meter, we press both ISO buttons and spin the side knob to compensate for the 0.6 stop difference we just measured. This process has to be done for each lens in your kit and we recommend that you record this difference with the label on each lens cap. Now we hope that today's demonstration of how to set up your light meter for log gamma recording helps you on your next production. If you have any questions or feedback, please give us a call or leave a comment down below.